Get ready for high octane energy from the Hawker. And make sure to stay out of Hawk's way. The following contest is a fatal four way tag team match. Introducing first from Ohio, weighing in at 242 pounds, AJ Hawk. You cannot turn off Hawk's intensity. You can only hope to survive it. Get ready for some styling and high flying. And from Florida, weighing in at 190 pounds, Darius Butler. Like it or not, Darius Butler carries himself like a superstar. T-Butt wants to prove the sky's the limit. Prove that there's nothing he can't do in sports entertainment. Well, except for pronounce Wichita correctly. Wait, it's not Wachita? gentlemen and we're presenting chase you from draper north carolina weighing in at 216 pounds Andre chase. Well, there's plenty of bravado when this man speaks but he has quickly become a mentor to many in nxt and wwe i think he'll have even more enrollment after this match. Like it or not, Andre Chase is a quick thinker when the pressure is on. Well, the pressure is on tonight. Hold on tight, everybody. It's time for some big Duke energy. Duke Hudson earned some major success in NXT and wants to expand his horizons. And we're presenting Chase Yu from Adelaide, South Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds. Duke Hudson! Duke Hudson is such an inspiration. His fellow students know to work hard, fight for their dreams, and always go above and beyond. There's a reason why that MVP trophy is made of solid gold. Duke's the real deal. We're looking at a big brawler with ridiculous power and deceptive agility. We know Duke understands the assignment. He's the one who created it. Check page five of the syllabus. Mm hmm yeah, Duke did his thesis on the empowerment of striking first and taking matters into your own hands. Combined weight of 403 pounds. Angel Garza and Roberto Legato del Fantasma. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
Here come the headbangers. Who said Punk's dead? Pain and a combined weight of 488 pounds. Marsh and Brasher, the headbangers. These guys set the stage for the Attitude Era. That's well, because the ring is their mosh pit. And tonight, they're ready to break some faces. Mosh and Thrasher can dish it out, but can take even more. They love mayhem and laugh in danger. These two actually headbutt each other for fun. Imagine what they would do to their opponents. Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match. Be careful with these. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Coming back into the ring. Back to the action. There was anything necessary about that. DDT! Planet! Corey, what's your best shot at winning in a no disqualification match? You lean into the stipulation and leave no stone unturned. Use everything at your disposal to get the win. Otherwise, what's the point? It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Hansel didn't exactly come out big against that one. Slip behind, left to the left. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. And some effective offense. Look at it. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. I am on the counter. Watch the quickness on this. Bam! Snap suplex. Toss back into the ring. Sending a clear message here. Back suplex. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up yes. and driven down with a jackhammer. Breaker excellently executed. Carefully measured knee drop. Firm control. Oh, man, what a boot. Set up. 
intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. And he slides him back to the mat. Shoulder tackle. Then it's Butler. Suicide dive. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, stomping away. Underhook applied. And he goes into the ring. Point of the elbow finds the mark. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Absolutely pushing each other beyond any normal human's limits. Nice snap suplex. Not done just yet. And looking for the trifecta. DDT! And I see a cover in the face of the clock. Is it enough? The cover! There's two! He kicks out in two. Mosh! Burning hammer! Cover! Is it enough? Try to end it. That could have been it right there. And now to Angel. With the wing clipper. Is it enough for Angel? Hits him with the counter. Oh, look at the jab. Oh, the submission on the way. It's in. Make it four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Slips out of the way. Look at the DDT! Ouch! Look what that did to Hudson's face. Andre Chase with a... Oh, Feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. Get to the gun. Drag the run into a neck breaker. Final under on the blind. Up and face buster. Shays can seal it here. He was unconscious. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Counter with a vicious clothesline. Boom! Will it be? He stops the count. Back to Hawk. Marsh. He's burying elbows in the midsection. No way AJ's getting up now. He's going for the Fully intent on ending things here. The end is looming now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. bit of offense with that maneuver. That should do it right there. No, he gets the shoulder. He refuses to stick loose. This hot closing this out. Makes the cover up. And the match continues. That's teamwork. DDT. And AJ looking stuck. In position and now muscling up there. Back three. Devastating. Crucial fits. Angel, double underhook. Wing clipper. If he gets there, a few seconds longer in this match would have been over. Punch connects. Shoulders into a fireman's carry 
position down face first. Seamlessly transitioning into the rings of Saturn's. He can end it here. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. This is going to come down to who wants it more. the intensity in the air throughout this one. Yeah, this win was well earned. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Time to go viral with one of the most polarizing figures in pop culture. You know, we know Logan Paul is taking on some of the top names in boxing and WWE, and he may be big on the internet, but can he really handle a fight? Why don't you roll in the ring and find out yourself, Saxton? No, I'm good. I'm good right here. Put a little respect on Logan Paul's name. Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of. All steps in his career greatness. Oh, he learned from the best. But at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. Yeah, we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the Masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. 
Orton looks like he's ready to stalk his prey. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. Career decorated with championship goals. But despite that success, you could also say Randy Orton has carried himself as a very entitled and selfish superstar. Or you can look at the reality that Randy Orton worked hard and earned every bit of it. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, Logan Ball! And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 the WWE United States Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Oh, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as some have. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Close line! Sizing up their opponent. Uh-oh. He switches it back around. Had that one scouted. Vicious right forearm. Oh, drop kick. Oh, stomp to the guts. Oh, an insult to injury. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Nasty stomp to finish it off. Orton launches his opponent with an exploder. And that definitely wasn't Logan's best effort. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. Orton might be one of the most dangerous superstars of his generation. We have seen some vulnerability from him over the years. There's a well-documented history of the injuries Randy has suffered. I would think his opponent is aware of those vulnerabilities tonight. Hey, is that really called for? Followed by the stomp. Randy Orton feeding off this electric crowd. Measuring. Oh, face stomp. He must have seen that coming. Oh, what a close line. Oh! Orton able to counter. Tagged with a punch. The superstar hooking the arm. Look at this rush of strikes. Every ounce of the body is a target. And he stole low. There's a reason this man's called the Apex Predator. Tides are beginning to shift in the favor of the Viper. Randy Orton just daring his opponent to take their best shot. Oh, pride. Well, that came to an end with a wet punch. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Going head to head. 
each other to the test. Looks like a hockey fight just broken out. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Ooh. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Ooh. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. a nasty gash on the face of Logan Paul now, guys. Two! Kicks it up, just kicked out! Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat drip out of the challengers every pour. Orton has ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. Great reversal. Vicious right forearm. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Drop kick! He's taking this to the floor now. Belly stop! Oh. Logan Paul looking helpless to every attack. This is Logan Paul's perseverance getting tested. He's looking to get back in this. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And he's taking this to the outside now. Caught with a lariat. Boom. Head first. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Randy Orton positioning his opponent. Orton is set. And talk about giving a DDT with authority. Orton's planning and calculations paying off there. Just as he planned it. Logan Paul's looking absolutely powerless. Going for a slice bread. Going to counter power slam. Last, he's keeping that string of offense in check. It's time for Paul to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Quick thinking pays off. Oh, well scouted by Paul. This to the skull. The champ's eyes look glazed over him. What? You gotta be kidding me. What just happened? I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. And that didn't prove to be the proverbial one lucky shot from Logan, but we know he won't stop until he lands it. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Taking this one back to the ring now. up before two. Not quite enough to put him away. And Paul caught by surprise. Oh, Can't be? Will the rain continue? Shoulders down. That's it. The champ stays the champ. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE United States Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. He wasn't giving up that title, no way. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton, ready to dominate the competition. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always Tiffy time in WWE. Tiffany Stratton ready to put the rest of the division on notice. And who's going to stop her? The Queen has arrived. Behold Her Majesty! A woman who helped usher in a genuine women's evolution in WWE alongside her fellow four horsewomen. The most highly decorated female superstar in the history of WWE and a guaranteed future first ballot Hall of Famer. Born into this business, the daughter of a two-time Hall of Famer, Charlotte was always destined for greatness, and she has definitely achieved it. Whether you like it or not, no one can measure up to Charlotte Flair. She was bred for this business and has become the absolute pinnacle. She really is the biggest challenge there is in this women's division. Introducing the challenger from Pryor, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. And her opponent from the Queen City, the WWE Women's Champion. Taking one final look at the title. WWE Universe anxiously awaiting the sound of the bell. Should be a hell of a match. The most coveted title for women in our business, the WWE Women's Championship being contested here tonight. Well, that's more than just the title. There's a lot of pride and honor in that championship. There are a few things that represent so many hopes and dreams as the Women's Championship. And there's no wonder why it's so highly contested. 
I expect we'll see that high level of competition between these women tonight. All the way up and all the way down. Fall away slam. A nice kip up. A oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Into the ankle breaker. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Stratton turns it around. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. She manages to get control. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Oh, no. Oh, look at the power leg breaker. Stratton was scouted there. Straight into the post on the outside. And a menacing look from Tiffany Stratton. Corey, we've talked a lot before about the intimidation factor that must come with standing across the ring from Charlotte Flair. But I have to wonder, how do you counteract that when the time comes? Well, Cole, preparation goes a long way against the neither superstar giving an inch here. Boom! The fight is on, and it's furious. Slugging away with everything they've got. The face. Oh, oh, nothing fancy about that. Well scattered reversal there. Charlotte with the spear. That Charlotte show a cover by the champ. Almost two and a half. She's still as determined as ever. Charlotte's eyes tracking, measuring her up. Charlotte Flair with a trademark chopping natural selection. Now that is why there's a champ. Cover! Got the shoulder up. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? That did not work out in Charlotte's favor. Can she turn to something else in her arsenal to finish things? Sharp elbow. This is an unyielding attack from Charlotte. Flair is making the opposition bow down. Oh, man, Charlotte just bending that leg to her will. Ah, stops to the legs. Debilitating attack on the leg. The challenger is in some big trouble. There is no way this can go on for much longer. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Queen changes the direction of that one. She throws her back in. You're looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. Tiffany is being taken full advantage of now. Now we have to see how tough Tiffany truly can be. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Oh, and she turns it around. Tiffany is finally able to slow all that incoming offense. Could be what Tiffany needed to ignite a rally. Russian leg sweep. Shrugging off the pin like it's nothing, and after this match is already gone for so long. Big knee to the midsection. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Unhinged offense from the blonde bombshell. Elbow throw saying not today. She saw that coming from Tiffany. What more can any of these women do in this scenario? You have to squeeze every last ounce out of whatever gas you have left in the tank. 
Charlotte Flair hooking her up. The first step is the figure four. And Charlotte now bridging up. There it is. Figure eight locked in. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Let's take another look at these women in action. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Charlotte Belair. She still holds the gold. She just proved you can't.